So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Devin Booker went through the lean years in Phoenix. He said, quote, I just put my head down and I work. I've been through a lot, honestly. But just being who I am and seeing the bigger picture, I had the tunnel vision to know what this can be. Brian, a lot of players in that situation haven't been able to see it through like he did. That's true, Allie. Good stuff there. And here we can check out the story for Devin Booker. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Crowder and Aiton, the bigs. And it's Bridges in at the three. And for the Timberwolves, Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. The backcourt, it's Russell and Edwards. And it's Prince in at small forward. And if your team is starting out slower than anticipated, how do you prevent frustration from setting in, Grant? That's a tough one. I mean, the trick is to try to stay even keel. It's such a long season. You're going to have highs and lows. Just treat this like any other low point at any other time of the year. It should pass. Now here's Booker. It's blocked by Gobert. Edwards with it, and it's Paul picking him up. Pass to Towns. The three, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. What a sweet shooting big man is Carl Anthony Towns. At 6'11", always ready to rise and fire off the catch. Here's Paul. He just could not put it together in that loss to Philadelphia. Back to Booker. Just five on the clock. Paul, a screen on Edwards. Booker can't get it to go. Here's Minnesota. It's a three-point game. Edwards can't hit. Booker against Towns. Booker, pass to Aiden. And stolen by Gobert. We played just over a minute here in the first. Edwards for three. Tipped away. And they recover it. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jay Crowder. That's his first foul of the game. Refs calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Russell to pass to Gobert. Down low. Edwards. And he converts the layup. Boy, Rudy Gobert usually the recipient of that kind of pass. That was nicely done, Rudy. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Now here's Paul. Looking at his numbers. Currently, he's averaging around nine points a game. Three-pointer, Bridges. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Timberwolves have gone just two for four from the floor. Here's Edwards. Here's Prince. No good from outside. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. To the left wing. Towns against Booker. Launches a three. Rebound Minnesota. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. And the main takeaway was their accuracy from beyond the arc. An impressive performance indeed. And that explains their three-point percentage. They had more than a few players giving the defense absolute fits from range. Here's Towns. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. If Carl Anthony Towns carves space and is in the painted area, it's going to go in the basket. He's that good. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And Towns' three-pointer is the lead. But some don't think centers should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has evolved with big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. Now here's Booker. He had a 36-point outing in their last game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. And the number of points he got at the foul line shows how tough he was to defend.
Bridges outside. Clock at six. Booker, the pass to Bridges. Tries to snap the cold streak. And the three-pointer goes. You've got to be aware and stay attached to Mikel Bridges beyond that arc. This guy dangerous as a shooter. Edwards for three. Sinks it from distance. Edwards has got five points. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Booker, good. Hey, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Here's Russell. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And Edwards slams it in. Oh, Anthony Edwards thinks this game is a dunk contest. Go ahead, young sir. What a finish. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And he makes it. Booker's gotten his second bucket. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. Pass to Russell. Three-pointer. No good. And Phoenix the other way now. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. I'm not quite sure what happened. Listen, I don't fault the effort. That was there all night. It was the quality of play that was lacking. There was not a ton of cohesion. They've got to figure it out. Crowder with a screen. Here's Booker. And you see that in building their lead, they've done an impressive job on the defensive glass. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Bridges outside. Pass to Booker. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. Five on the clock. Goes up at the stripe. That's good from Aiden. On the assist by Booker. What you love about this young guard, Devin Booker, is his ability to hurt you with both his passing and his shooting. Here's Towns. Pass to Gobert. Russell from outside. And Aiden pulls it down. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Booker with a screen on Russell. Ball can't get it to go. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Edwards, a pass to Russell. Pulls up on the wing. Towns can't get it to go. For Phoenix, they've gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Paul passes to Booker. Out to Bridges. Back to Booker. Bridges outside. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. And Minnesota calls time here. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. McDaniels comes in for Prince. And it's Noel. And Phoenix shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Crowder and Aiton, the bigs. And it's Lee in at the three. Small forward. Pass to Edwards. And it falls for him. He's now four of seven from the field. Yeah, Anthony Edwards in the painted area is going to be a force. Size, strength, and hops. Look out. Crowder, a screen on Edwards. Here's Booker. Now Crowder. Outside Booker. Crowder, a screen on Edwards. Oh, and Towns with the block. Well, this is what you're hoping to see. A level of dominance on the defensive end by Towns. Sends that shot back. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Timberwolves? Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. Another thing they're doing right out of the gates tonight, applying a ton of defensive pressure. Booker against Edwards. From downtown, and it's Devin Booker with the three. Booker's got seven points in the game. 
Well, this is very much the definition of a shooting guard. Booker always looking to rise and fire from range. Prince tries yet again, and he lays it in. Prince has got his second basket of the night. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Outside Paul for three. Booker, another three for Phoenix. They've got some ground to make up, and shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA draft. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. Here's Noel. A 14-point game for him in the win against New York. And his passing was simply amazing. A lot of fun to watch. Six on the shot clock. I like the effort Booker gives on defense, especially when he pressures the shooter. Crowder, a screen on Edwards. Good chance here for Booker. Booker missing again. Well, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Gobert passes to Edwards. Here's Towns. Nails the baby hook. Seven points in the game. The unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. And for an idea of how the league is shaping up right now, take a look at these latest power rankings. You look at Minnesota. They've fallen down to the third spot and are hoping to turn things back around. Well, right now for the Suns, they're one of the top teams because they just play the game the right way. That's what's been clear early on. And he's going for the oop here. The shot off that time. Well, he saw the play coming together, but the timing was just a little off. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. And last year's outcome, so unfortunate for Paul and the Phoenix Suns, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the best record in the league by eight games. You know, it kind of seemed like Paul might finally get that ring. Just a heartbreaking loss for them against Dallas in Game 7. Anthony Edwards has got his rhythm, and he's got a well-rounded offensive game. Look out. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. To the right side. Here's Paul. No good. A bit long that time. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Noel. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Here's Edwards, and he hits it from nine feet. Edwards got 14 points for the game. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Outside Paul, to the paint. Here's Aiden, and Aiden with the stuff. Well, just tremendous court recognition. DeAndre Aiden excelling in the pick and roll there. Outside Edwards. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set for. Yeah, I think he can. And that one, good. Paul's got four points now in the quarter. Well, Paul can be consistent from that part of the floor. Defenses should know you can't allow his mid-range game to start cooking. Towns down low. He's against Crowder. Left side, Edwards. Here's Towns. Crowder grabs a miss. Crowder's got six rebounds now in the game. Crowder with a screen. To three, Booker. Rebound Minnesota. Towns has got five rebounds tonight. And they double up Edwards. Pass to Noel. Takes a three. Bearing his second of three attempts. They're shooting the three extremely well this quarter. Be fun to see if they can keep it up. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Phoenix has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Crowder with a screen. Paul shot is off. 
Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Pass to Gobert. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Well, the length and the size of Rudy Gobert, so problematic for defenses. Nothing they can do there but foul him. Russell's checked in for the Timberwolves. Outside Booker. Pass to Johnson. Beyond the arc. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Here's Prince from deep. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. And when you talk about efficiency, these are the guys that come to mind. Here are the league's best shooters so far. Third, DeAndre Ayton. He's been fantastic scoring the ball, shooting it at a high clip. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Edwards against Booker. Pass to Crowder. The kick out to Paul. Booker with it. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. Here's Booker. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Booker's got 12 points. Well, you love the lethal scoring ability off the dribble. Booker putting extraordinary pressure on the defense. Edwards, a pass to Russell. Edwards against Booker. And Edwards slams it in. And that strength and concentration from Anthony Edwards. Yes, there's contact. Doesn't bother him. Here's Booker. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chipping. McDaniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. Paul against Russell. Pass to McDaniels. Outside Russell. Shot clock at five. To the middle. Crowder with a steal. And here's Booker. 12 points for him. Here's Paul. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. He gets it in there. And the Timberwolves lead by 18. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Paul passes to Crowder. Back to Paul. Minnesota with the rebound. Russell's got his fifth rebound in this one. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Edwards can't hit. Phoenix has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Booker no good. Timberwolves shooting around 60% in the second. An excellent number. Reed with it. 11 points for him last game against New York. Anderson for three. Hits the three-pointer. Anderson's got his second bucket on the night. They're shooting the three extremely well this quarter. Be fun to see if they can keep it up. Paul passes to Booker. Here's Aiton. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Well, you have to love DeAndre Ayton's effort, intensity, and relentlessness as a rebounder. Outside Edwards. The shake. That shot off. And Phoenix the other way now. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Orlando where they'll face the Magic. That'll be the third stop of this four-game trip. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Some changes for Phoenix. Sharich checks in for DeAndre Ayton. Bridges comes in for Crowder. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. Edwards 
That one off the back iron and out. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Third foul of the half, and that's the risk you take leaving him out there. First one falls for him. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. And we've reached halftime in this one. The T-Wolves on top. They lead by four. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. Welcome, everybody. The story at the half could be summed up as a dominating performance for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Right now, they're getting anything they want in close. Now, that's hard to do, getting to the rim that easily, facing little resistance or no resistance. And they've continued to exploit that advantage. Yeah, well, why go away from what's working? They're just feasting down low so far. And now we turn our attention to the Western Conference standings here in the early going. You know, right now for Minnesota, they've been pretty much the team we thought they'd be. They were kicking into high gear and mode every night. I like how they don't take lesser teams for granted. Just a matter of keeping it up for the long haul. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. He was getting into the lane easily that first half. It's just relentless. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. The backcourt, it's Russell and Edwards. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. And it's Prince in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Russell is continuing to develop that deep perimeter shot. He's got to continue to be a factor from there. Booker on the take. Here's Aiden. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Pass to Towns for three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got six rebounds now in the game. Bridges outside. Back to Booker. Suns getting another bucket right there. But this guy's operating like a 10-year vet. Booker making all the right decisions almost immediately. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Pass to Booker. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. And he gets that one. Wow, what a start. Three for three. Terrific play calling. Everything clicking out of the gates here. Towns, a screen on Booker. Now here's Towns. Puts up a three. The rebound by Devin Booker. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Back to Aiden. And it's good. Two points. Aiden's got four points now in the quarter. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. Pass to Towns. Fires from deep. Buries it from three. And the Timberwolves lead by 14. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Ball passes to Booker. The three ball. And they'll get another chance. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. It's Booker on the wing, guarded by Edwards. A nice shot by Booker. 
Minnesota has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. And Minnesota calls time here. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Noel, he's checked in for Edwards. Noel, no good. The Suns have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Booker, the pass to Paul. Left side, Booker. Shoots a fadeaway. And it's Booker again missing. The Timberwolves have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Crowder grabs the miss. Crowder's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Booker. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Well, the Suns shooting only 42%. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. Well, Devin Booker's ability to put an offense on his back is huge for any organization. His willingness to absorb and embrace responsibility is so crucial. From the low block. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. Boy, it's incredible how many times Chris Paul has led the league in steals. This guy has active hands. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. Pass to Towns. Back to Russell. There's the three. Counted. Now five of 11 for the game. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Pass to Prince. Three-pointer. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his third assist of the night. Well, just tremendous instincts from Prince. Feeling the defense, getting loose, getting into his catch-and-shoot game. Nicely done. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, you know the Timberwolves are a young squad, Doris. When will it be their time, you think? I think, B.A., when you have a talent that is... And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Reed's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for Carl Anthony Towns. McDaniels is checked in for Prince. And it's Edwards in for Russell. Craig is checked in for Phoenix. Booker comes in for Lee. Pass to Payne. Outside Booker, Sharic a screen. The three is up. Booker no good. Well, two long range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Payne against Edwards. Fires for three. Connects from downtown. Edwards has got nine points now in the quarter. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Here's Booker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. First free throw is good. Boy, young talents like Anthony Edwards, so exciting to watch. 
You know, you've got to adapt to the NBA and continue to grow and reach your potential. But there's this infectious joy and a great smile that he plays with. Oh, and Reed with a block. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And so in the game for the Suns, the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Crowder and Aiden, the bigs. And it's Craig in at the three slot. Count it. Edwards has got 34 points. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Here's Booker. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. There's a level of floor awareness that has always been innate to Chris Paul. What a pretty find. Pass to Reed. Now McDaniels. Here he goes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And that one on Craig. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Timberwolves? They feel like they have an advantage inside, and so far they have done an excellent job exploiting it. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. Ball finds Booker. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns just got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. McDaniels passes to Edwards. Tries to spin move. The three sends it home from three-point land. Edwards got 16 points here in the second half. Well, you can see Anthony Edwards trying to probe and create an opportunity to get off the dribble drive. Sees that window and exploits it. Crowder with a screen. Booker with it. Guarded now by Anderson. Booker can't get it to go. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Back to Paul. Up and over Russell. And again, it's the Suns missing. Minnesota's shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Anderson passes to Edwards. Towns against Aiden. Knocked away. Pass to Russell. And here's Edwards. Jacks up a three. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got his fifth assist in this one. Phoenix calls timeout. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Edwards. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Count that bucket. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Booker against Towns. Back to Bridges. Pass to Paul. Bridges outside. Booker for three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. It's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. It's Booker on the wing. Guarded by Russell. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And Doris, the league has taken a much more active role in player development in the U.S. and abroad. Why now? Well, I think, B.A., what's great is it's not just player development. It's growth in the game of basketball. It's interest worldwide. I think the league's resources have obviously grown, and it is trying to make investments back into the basketball game. A true minor league, international academies. It's a beautiful thing. If you love hoops, this is great. Right side, Booker. 
fades and shoots. And that one drops for him. Booker's got six points in the quarter. Analytics say don't shoot the mid-range shot. Sometimes the best scorers are efficient in that area. Devin Booker, one of those guys. Here's Towns. Again, the Timberwolves score. That's three buckets in a row off assists. The Suns have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Outside Booker. And Booker with the jam. Well, Devin Booker found his rhythm early. He's sustaining the offense all by himself, and his teammates simply keep finding him. To the inside. Here's Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Uh, so long, so athletic. Rudy Gobert with a big time dunk. Outside Booker. Aiden with a screen. From the high post. Pass to Booker. The Suns need to get off a shot. Aiden, the rebound by the Timberwolves. Here's Towns. Gobert up top. He's covered by Aiden. Here's Forbes. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Here's Booker. Drives to the hoop. And Gobert with a block. This guy is an absolute menace and force on the defensive end. Rudy Gobert says, no, sir. Pass to Towns. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, you think about the resurgence for Carl Anthony Towns in the 21-22 season. Selected to his third All-Star game. Johnson, he's checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Lee. And for Towns, team success was the biggest change for him in that 2021-22 season. It was, B.A., because when you consider out of his first seven seasons in the league, it's only the second time his team finished with a winning record. But Towns is looking to make that a regular occurrence from this point forward. Sharich, a screen on Edwards. Booker can't get it to go. Minnesota has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his fifth foul. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. The Suns making a switch here. Lee's checked in. Russell to pass to Towns. Back to Russell. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. Towns has got three assists tonight. Carl Anthony Towns, as a big man, is a tremendously solid passer, willing to move the basketball. To the wing on the left. Booker with a screen on Towns. Pass to Booker. From deep three-point range. Keeps it alive. Controls the rebound and the putback. Sharich has got 21 points in the game. That's what you call getting to the right spot at the right time. Tremendous awareness from Dario Saric. Here's Prince. Back to Towns. And he drops it in from the low post. 21 points in the game. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. For three, Booker. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got 11 rebounds in the game. And it's powered home by Towns. Boy, for a man his size, Towns does a sensational job running the floor. Phoenix has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Booker, the pass to Payne. Outside for Booker. Spins. From outside the arc. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Towns has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Now here's Russell. Inside. And Edwards the bucket on the assist by Russell. Edwards got 42 in the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Shara to screen. Booker with it. 
And it's Gobert picking him up. Booker, the pass to Johnson. And here's Payne outside. Four on the clock. Pass to Johnson. Takes the three. Minnesota with the rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Two minutes remaining in the game. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. Booker with it. Russell covering. Sharich a screen on Russell. Russell against Booker. Will it go? And the... The layup is up and in. Booker's got 38 points. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Timberwolves. Hey, if you get yourself to the line and cash in on those opportunities, you paint your opponent into a corner. Yeah, they were so successful with that all night. Aggressive, fearless, whatever you want to call it, they really pushed the action and got rewarded. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And with the win, the season series is tied one to one. You have to love how competitive these games have been. Two more left to play. Now Anderson. And so it's Minnesota easily grabbing this one. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They did just a tremendous team effort. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up.